This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better road planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now in uh, Zagreb at uh, Green Energy Fair, and with me I have um, uh, sorry, <laughs> Vanya from EV Clinic. Clinic yeah. um, okay, I'm gonna show you guys some interesting stuff here. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's just. Uh, yeah, you can just. Uh, we have some interesting stuff for EV community. Uh, we presented some of the new uh, repair kits which we have in, uh, at the GAF fair, and something which we didn't show too, too many times. We are developing one uh, battery range extender for uh, which will be multi-purpose for any type of the EV and for any type of the chemistry inside the battery pack. For example, which we presented, this is one of the most sellable uh, DC DC box to test the DC DC on the bench before you assemble it to the vehicle. This is high voltage, high voltage connection, low voltage connection. You press start and it makes it makes the, the test to see if, it, if it's working or not, then we can deliver it to the customer. So this is really important. This is, let's say, the last step of quality check. And this is fully designed, reverse engineered in uh, uh, EV clinic, and from the box, from the software, completely everything. And this is one of the most famous uh, Tesla large drive unit, Holy Grail kits. Uh, this kit actually made 800,000 kilometers on the vehicle of hans Jörg Gaming from Germany, who has already 2.5 million kilometers, which I already mentioned in the previous videos with you, Björn. And this is the full kit. This is the graphite seal. We, this is the uh, gearbox seal which we produce. You can see EV Clinic logo there. Yeah. And those are SKF bearings. We produce the motor mounts with EV Clinic logo. And we have the, the oil and other uh, O-ring seals for the gearbox and the inverter side. So let's say this is the fully kit with new design, yeah. But, but the purpose of getting this mm -hmm. retrofitted, is it for, is it for uh, efficiency or uh, endurance? Or? Well, let's say this is for, mostly for the endurance because the, 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 the point to protect the large drive unit from failing is to prevent the coolant leak. And this is the most important uh, the part of the complete set. Without this, just by changing the bearings, you didn't solve the main cause of the problem. With this, you solve the main cause of the problem, but we have one more uh, juicy news from SKF uh, with completely new stuff, uh, how, to, how to increase efficiency only with the bearings on the large drive unit, not just the large drive unit, even the small drive unit, Model 3 and all other vehicles. And uh, we will get to that, po to that point, but uh, it is possible, let's say, to reduce consumption by 10% at least, yeah. I mean, the friction. Quick question about this uh, set here. Mm -hmm. um, which car, which, which Teslas do you recommend that they get it? A 2014 or which models? Almost all with large drive unit, uh, rear wheel drive or even P85D, P90D. P100D. Also Model X, right? Yeah. yeah, and even the X, they have the big large drive unit in the rear, and they will need this kit to be uh, successfully re re repaired for endurance, to make high mileage. And uh, it's almost from 2013 till 2021, because the Raven, even the Raven P100D, has the large drive unit in the back. So they, Tesla used pretty long time, for pretty long uh, time frame, they used the same drive unit, yeah. Okay, and uh, if Norwegians, for example, or other countries want this, how can they get this kit? Uh, we have it. We have it on the web shop. There is a QR code. They can buy it on our web shop. Uh, let's say for third-party workshop, we reduce the price. The final price is not on the web shop. If they contact us, we, we can reduce the price for let's say a higher quantity, which we can ship. Yeah. But but um, for example, in Norway, we have so many Tesla owners. Uh, mm -hmm. Can they go to? Uh, to Nasir or they, to, they, can or to they can visit EV Hub, they can visit, let's say, El Bill Mac. Oh. There, are, there are some other workshops, really great workshop, really great themes. And uh, uh, they have even more, even more experience with those disassembling and assemblies. The most important part is to have the really high quality parts. We were struggling to find them all, but we succeeded. Yeah. Okay, but this. And this is, this is our masterpiece. I had idea. How could I increase the range of Model S without changing the actual cells inside? Because the changing all the individual cells might be really tricky, too expensive equipment. For example, I own Eagle with 260,000 kilometers and degraded battery pack almost 40%. 
I was wondering, can I extend the range without changing the battery pack? Nissan Leaf has the same issues. Uh, 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 Volkswagen E-Up and some other old vehicles. Can we extend the life of those? So we started the project almost nine months ago. I, I, I designed the system, okay, let's use the external battery, which will be connected in parallel with the existing one, but we will need to design complete uh, self-sustainable BMS system to communicate with the original battery pack from the vehicle to see the voltage drops, to see the voltage, voltage deltas, temperatures and all other, uh, let's say, s safety uh, related uh, uh, data. So we redesigned the, the, the master BMS, slave BMS, pyrofuse, coolant plate. You can see there is a coolant plate designed by us, produced in Bosnia. And this was just a prototype edition. And there is, you say, the coolant inlet here. Yeah, yeah. And so we are able to cool, to cool and heat this battery pack. This is our slave BMS, this is the master, and this is our diagnostic tool. What we first did, the, first what we did, we, uh, we designed the diagnostic tool to repair this battery, then we started designing the battery. So, repairability of the battery pack was our first priority. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, test we, we, driven, we, test we were driven. going backward. Yeah, it's like test driven development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, and we, as you can see, we designed our software it's to immediately diagnose complete battery pack. You can see, uh, I don't know what is the touch screen, or maybe only one connected. Ah, yeah, see, you, you can see all the cells, all the modules inside. So, we immediately meet troubleshooting device to repair if there is anything defect on the battery pack, yeah. So the first test will be done in my Model S, at, uh, Ninja Tesla. <laughs> oh, the one I borrowed. Yeah, yeah. because this, this is the my dimensions of the hole inside Frank. So you can fit this inside hole. In that trunk or front? Oh, the the deep, deep side of the trunk. Oh, the trunk, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you can cover with uh, with original uh, the foam, and uh, you will be able to connect with the rapid mate connectors to extend the range by 100 kilometers on old S85, and it will automatically decrease internal resistance and supercharging rate will increase. Huh? Yes. <laughs> what? But 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 the 18 kilowatt hour is that gross on that capacity? This is uh, this is actually this is actually a gross capacity. Yeah. Okay. So well, how much is the net then? Or how much net is it? about seventeen point two. Wow. Yeah. But but dude, I, it, it is so compact. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Go around. You see. So, yeah. You know, I have the EcoFlow uh, Delta uh, battery. Okay. It it, it has uh, some cooling and some uh, inverter. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's only two kilowatt hour. You're able to pack 18 we kilowatt hours. We packed hour. 18 kilowatt hours, yeah. But is that the coolant pump? Or so? No, this is, we call it a uh, high voltage, uh, high voltage uh, junction box. Okay. Inside there is, a, for, the, for the safety, there is one fuse, two contactors, pre-charge contactors. So if anything happens inside the battery or inside the vehicle, the system will disconnect itself because it's, it sees something unsafe. So this is, this is, let's say, the purpose of this box is uh, the, 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 the safety, primarily the safety. But what is interesting, we reused, this is the safety box of the BMW hybrid. We have 50 pieces on stock. So uh, we were trying to find a way to recycle them and we reused them inside our system. We are using BMW S-Box for purpose of, uh, of this battery range extender. And the, what is this an antenna for? Uh, this, we prepared it for uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. So you will be able to connect during the drive like you like <laughs> and to check all the data on the, on the, on the, on the, on the range extender. Yeah. But Okay, does it mean that the state of charge here follows the main battery? Yes, okay. exactly. Oh, so it's not like once the main battery is empty? No, no. Okay. no. It, it follows it in, in parallel. Oh, yeah, in parallel. So yes. it's okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it will, when you, charge, when you charge on the Type 2 or CCS, it will automatically charge this battery. But what about, uh, is this compatible with the 85 packs that has lower voltage? No, sorry, the 75. 75. 75. Yeah, uh, for the 75, we will be, for example, in this example, we will need to disconnect or to remove two, two modules. Uh, to, no, no, sorry, one module to match the voltage. You are completely right because mm -hmm. it's not always the same voltage on all the vehicles. Uh, we will need to change, for example, to remove just one, uh, one group, one module to fit the voltage. And then uh, what kind of cells are these from? Or? This is a prismatic uh, 52 amp hour Samsung SDI. 
So they are good. You chose one them. of the one of the best. Yeah, one yeah. of the best. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I choose wisely. <laughs> <laughs> and then let me see on this side here. Uh, on this side here, uh, there's some. Uh, there's a pump, right? This is the this is the pump from Model S. You can see it. Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. Yeah, Model S. We recycle from Model S old uh, water pumps, and there is a pyrofuse from Model Three. So, do, do you connect this pump to the to the, the existing existing. Si existing system of the Model S or any other vehicle? So the pump goes in a in a serial loop, then. Or yeah, in the serial loop. Okay, yeah, yeah. serial. Oh, so then or or even the parallel. It's even uh, you can ch you can connect it series or parallel. If you connect in series, you don't need pump. If you want to connect in parallel, you need pump. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. And then. But it, does it work with other cars? You mentioned it works with any other car. It is designed, right now we wrote the software for Model S, S85, or any, let's say, uh, uh, 96S mod battery pack. Uh, uh, it, software communicates now with Model S for, in fully, and we will prepare software for eGolf, uh, Smart 451, uh, Smart 453, uh, Nissan Leaf, and all other old vehicles, because I want to prove that it is possible to extend the life of the existing battery pack without changing one, without changing original one, but with just connecting the healthy, new healthy system to existing one. But th that's crazy because, you know, I have an Eagle. I could put this in the Eagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need a little bit of uh, ninja stuff here. Yeah. And then suddenly <laughs> I double the range of the Eagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, you know why? I have the Eagle when we were designing the dimensions of the module and compactness of uh, complete battery range extender. I have Eagle, I have Smart 451, and I have a Model S. So we were trying, does it fit in all of them? So actually, this dimension is perfect almost for all vehicles. But how, in the case of Eagle or uh, Leaf, mm -hmm. how would you connect the cooling? Ah, uh, yeah. For example, if uh, for in, in, the, in the case of the Eagle, that it might be challenging uh, to extend the cooling from the inverter to the battery pack with the new cooling pipes. This is something which we will uh, uh, research when we stuck with this problem. Then we will sit down and test, uh, say, okay, we need to design one pipe, we need to design something else. So we, we are able to do that. It's no problem for us, but when we get there, we will find a solution. Yeah. yeah, well, that, that's awesome. So, guys, I mean, if you guys are interested, um, maybe we should ship one of these units. Well, do you have only one? one this unit? is the prototype. We are preparing the second one. Okay. So, like, prepare a second one, ship it to Norway, and then maybe Nasir or Wallemar, they could put it in one of the cars, a yeah. Tesla maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's say we put it in my P100 Ninja, oh. yeah. and then we will have a uh, netto 100 kilowatt hour. Then you should make maybe 1,000 uh, <laughs> kilometer challenge. Or, or a, 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 like a range test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and charging test, because yeah. Yeah, you will get increased charging rate. So the, yeah, you mentioned that. So the, the, the Tesla BMS will just... Check the internal resistance. Uh, the, the voltage drop is not too high, then it will allow more current to go in. So, so suddenly the classic Tesla could take uh, I don't know, 170 kilowatt or something. Mm, but I, I'm not sure, but okay. let's say you could get full charge all the time. Wow! Wow! Oh, yeah, like flat. Oh, flat let's, say, let's say flat line till 60 <laughs> percent. <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like the, the savior for classic Tesla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, we can uh, we can uh, let's say deliver the promise of uh, we already delivered the promise of Elon Musk. We have drive unit which can make one million kilometers with our kit. Let's say let's make the the, the let's extend the battery pack life to make one million kilometers. Yeah. With the range extender. Because this battery pack, the range extender is actually saving the life of original battery pack because the most current can go through the, this one. Oh. So you understand? You're yeah. extending the life with better range extender, not just the range. Because the charging cycles are lower for 20%. But also, um, the cooling, it's also for heating, right? The, 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 thing, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the plate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Heating and cooling. Yes. Ah, oh, so the whole heat scavenging system goes via it. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. Brilliant. This guy is a genius. <laughs> Thank you, Bjorn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think that's going to be for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later. Bye-bye.